Hello and welcome everyone to Silver Asset of the Day for the 3rd of March 2020, presented by myself, Phil Carr, at the Gold and Silver Club. So first of all, what do you need to know about silver for this week? In the latest week, very much like gold, hedge funds and money managers have also significantly trimmed their net long positions on silver. And of course, that was evidenced by the fact that we saw over a $2 drop in silver prices last week. Now, very much like gold, which we were selling short last week, this has also followed through not only into gold, but platinum and also with silver too. Now, this is where you want to keep a very close eye on the correlations between gold, silver and platinum. Last week, platinum and silver leading the move to the downside and gold, of course, finally had a very large breakdown on Friday, breaking down over a thousand points last week. And you also want to keep a very close eye on the gold to silver ratio as well. On Thursday, the gold to silver ratio spiked to 30 year highs of 96 to one. So this is very important. When the gold to silver ratio is breaking out to the upside, it favors more downside for both gold and silver. The gold to silver ratio today has continued to go up. It's at 0.2% at the moment. It's over 95 to one. This would again favor more pressure on the downside for silver over the course of this week. Gold would likely hold up slightly better, but both are vulnerable over the course of this month especially. Typically, the month of March is not a strong month for the precious metals. Often you see that profit taking come in right at the end of February, leading to a correction into March, which follows through into April. You can see now very clearly where we've got the seven year highs, which were formed last week for gold, where a lot of traders have FOMO'd in at the highs. That's evidenced by the fact that we can see all of the retail traders, their data, how many were long last week versus the sell shorts in the market versus the hedge funds and money managers, which continue to trim their net longs in the latest week. So with silver at the moment, it's had over a $2 move off the recent highs here. Whilst the gold silver ratio continues to break out to 30 year highs, it is likely to put silver under pressure and you want to be very careful about trying to pick the low at the moment. Many traders have come into this week looking to buy gold, silver, platinum and so forth at a discount, perhaps unaware that hedge funds are starting to trim their net long positions. They're starting to add to their sell shorts on these markets. And you could, especially with the gold silver ratio, continue to break out here above 30 year highs, we could still have more downside. And what you might actually want to look at here, especially with gold, is any rallies to be potentially sold into and opportunities to sell at higher prices for corrections to come over the course of this month of March. Now, major catalyst that we've got coming over this week, typically for the precious metals, is Friday's non-farm payroll. That can also offer explosive moves in the markets for both gold, silver, and also platinum. You should also be watching platinum at the moment as well. Whilst platinum continues to decline, it also tends to put pressure on silver and also gold as well. There can sometimes be a delayed reaction, but overall the precious metals remain certainly under pressure for this week. Be aware, hedge funds have trimmed their net long positions, and for the most part, many technical traders are trying to buy the dips here, and they may be disappointed over this month with trying to pick a low for the metals as typically the month of March is bearish for gold, silver, and platinum. So with that, that has been Silver Asset of the Day, and of course, I wish you good trading.